Efforts to transform the country's banking system, the topic of debate in the upper chamber this morning. Good evening, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis. Thanks so much for tuning in. Senators discussing the credit reporting bill that Attorney General Carl Bethel says reflects the best intent of all governments. The bill is a part of holistic efforts to address the banking system. DeAndre Williamson was at the Senate and has more details on this dynamic legislation that would stimulate banks in this country. The credit reporting bill debated by senators in the upper chamber promises to assure stability in the banking market and implement a credit bureau in the Bahamas. That is what this bill is seeking to do, to establish a legal method to provide verifiable and a lawful method to obtain credit references in relation to pers prospective borrowers. The intent is to avoid any informal information exchanges and to provide a system that has checks and balances. Attorney General Carl Bethel says the credit system will be administered by the central bank and not government ministers. The bill also stops other banks from interfering with lending decisions. Clearly the intent of this legislation is to prevent precisely a cartel of banks setting up some wholly owned proxy to store collectively the banking information of all of their clients to determine in a group, in this bureau, who shall get a loan and who cannot, based on its standards. Amen. They will not own either, they will not own either singly or as a group, more than 49% of the shares. Senator Renard Henfield in his contribution says the introduction of the credit bureau would restart bank lending and benefit the Bahamas the same way it benefited Jamaica, which sits at number 20 on the World Bank ranking for getting credit. The Bahamas ranks 142 out of 190 countries. We have to give credit where credit is due. So for those persons in our country who are saying we don't need a credit bureau, I wish to stand here today in seconding this motion and say we clearly need a credit bureau. The credit system provides a framework of excellent protection of private information. And for one who may want to outsmart the system, you can't. Senator Jamal Moss explains why. No person shall knowingly, negatively, or recklessly supply false or misleading information regarding data subject to credit bureau. This bill further notes that any person found doing this commits an offense. While bad credit can follow you to your grave, Attorney General Carl Bethel says once the bill is passed, a dead person's credit rating won't be affected. For ZNS Network News, I'm DeAndre Williamson.